Imagine we want to plot the trajectory of a ball that is fired from the ground into the air until it comes back down to the ground again. To calculate the trajectory we can use Newton's equations. Let's imagine that the horizontal component of the velocity is 1 meter per second and the vertical component of the velocity is 15 meters per second. 15 meters per second is about 30 miles an hour. So we fire the ball into the air, it goes up, it comes to the highest point and then it falls back down again. Newton's equations are v equals u plus at, v squared equals u squared plus 2as, and s equals ut plus a half at squared. We'll define ux to be the horizontal velocity, so ux is equal to 1, and we'll define uy to be the vertical velocity, and uy is equal to 15. We also know that g is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. Notice the variables are being declared in the workspace here. The next thing we're going to do is to declare a vector for the time increments. Now we don't know how long this is going to take, so let's assume that it's going to take 20 seconds and we'll subdivide that into tenth of a second intervals. So we're going to create a vector called t which starts at 0, increments by 0.1 of a second at a time, and it's going to take 20 seconds. If I don't put a semicolon at the end, this statement will print all the values. So there are all the values, and now you can see we have a t variable in the workspace. If I do that again and I put a semicolon at the end, it doesn't bother printing all the, the values to the screen. But just looking at this, we have 201 values now, up to 20 seconds, in increments of 0.1 of a second. Now we're going to create the x values. The velocity in the x direction is constant, there's nothing changing that, obviously apart from air friction, which we're ignoring for now. So we can say that the x coordinates are equal to ux times t. I'll put a semicolon at the end, so that's been calculated, and notice the x vector has uh, come into our workspace. And if I want to see the values of it, I just type x, and here we are, those are all the x values. The next thing I'm going to do is to calculate the y values. Now to do this, we're going to use Newton's equation, s equals ut plus a half at squared. So we're going to say that y is equal to uy times t minus, because obviously the gravity is working against us, 0.5 times g times t times t. It's a quicker way of saying t squared. So if I press enter now, I get an error. And the reason for the error is that I'm multiplying a vector by a vector here, and we can't do that. What I want to do is to multiply the elements of the vector one by one. So what I can do is I can write, if I type y and then the up arrow, it will give me that line back again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot in front of these to say I want to multiply term by term, not vector by vector. So if I put those in there and then press enter, I've now got a y vector. And you can see in the workspace the y vector has appeared. So now all I need to do is to say plot x against y. And that generates a plot for me, which shows that the, the ball is fired and it comes to zero in about three seconds, I would guess, looking at that graph. So it's a long way underground. It's 1.6 kilometers underground, um, the way this graph has been drawn. So that means that 20 seconds is much, much more than we need. So what we're going to do is to repeat the process, only this time, instead of 20 seconds, we're just going to use, say, three seconds and see what happens there. So the first thing I want to do is to clear all the variables. We're going to say clear vars, which clears the workspace. And now you see in the workspace, none of our variables are left. And if I type X, I'm told that there is no such function. Right, so just remind ourselves, we had ux, so if I press u and then the up arrow, 
it says U Y. Press the up arrow one more time. We get U X is 15. Then U and up arrow. I can find the U Y. So that's 15. I need G, which is 9.8, and I need the time vector. Only instead of going up to 20, I'm only going to go up to 3. Right, now I'll get the x vector, which is x, up arrow, and we have the next one is there. So, okay, so there's the x value being created. And then I need the y vector, which is there. So I'll put a semicolon on the end, and that's now created my y vector. And now p, up arrow, plot, and there's my graph. which is looking rather more like it. We don't quite come down to zero, but we, we can see that the ball was projected from here. It goes up until it becomes stationary in the y direction, and then it falls back down to Earth again. Velocity in the x direction is a constant. That's the end of this video on using the command window. In the next video, we'll write a script to do the same process.